To identify inequality in accessing opportunities, the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific has developed a Leave No One Behind tool. Our LNOB tool also includes the Dissimilarity Index. The D-Index is a way to measure inequality of individuals and households, access to an opportunity. To calculate the D-Index, we first identify the circumstances that we believe may influence the level of access. As an example, when the D-Index for access to electricity is calculated, we assume that the area in which the household is located is either urban or rural. The wealth of the household belongs either to the top 60 or bottom 40 of the wealth distribution, and the highest education in the household is either lower, secondary, or higher education. These are the main circumstances influencing the access level. This gives us 2 times 2 times 3, which equals to 12 different groups, which contribute to calculating the inequality. For each of these groups, an average access rate is calculated. Then the distance of these averages to the overall average is summed up and weighted by the size of each group. The D-index is comparable to the Gini coefficient, which is a different aggregate measure of economic inequality. The D-index value also ranges from 0 to 1. A higher number indicates more inequality, while a lower number indicates less inequality. In our case, the D-index value tends to stay between 0.1 and 0.3. In contrast to the Gini coefficient, the D-index should be zero, ensuring that there is full and equal access to key services for all. Let's now take a look at an example of how different access levels amongst population groups can impact the D-index value. Let's say country Escapia has an average access rate to electricity of 65%. Escapia has two provinces and, for simplicity, Assume they both also have the same average access rate to electricity of 65%. Assume further that the circumstances that impact the access rates of the population groups in these two provinces are residence and wealth. In each province, we will calculate the access rate of these four groups. Number one, urban richer. Number two, urban poorer. Number three, rural richer. And number four, rural poorer. For our example, we will assume each of the four groups account for a quarter or 25% of the population. In province one, with an average access of 65%, we have the access rate of 68% for urban richer, 65% for urban poorer, 66% for rural richer, and 62% for rural poorer households. In province two, with the same average access rate of 65%, the access rates among the four population groups are a bit different. We have the access rate of 99% for urban richer, 51% for urban poorer, 85% for rural richer, and 25% for rural poorer households. Because of the relatively larger differences in access rates across the groups in province 2, we have a higher D index of 0.21, while the relatively lower differences in access rates in province 1 generates a lower D index of 0.01. Here we can see our D index provides a single number that can summarize inequality in access for all groups for one indicator in a province or a country. In our LNOB online tool, we use the D-index for all indicators and many more circumstances. The results are available for download in different formats on lnob.unsgap.org.